The history of empire and the history of the city and finance are so intertwined that they just can't be separated. And I'm interested in the way in breaking down barriers between history. We have economic historians, we have, we have historians, we have historians of empire and historians of domestic history. All of those barriers, all of those silos, I think need to be broken down and at least softened. This is the oldest part of London. This is Roman London. The, this, this, this part of the city, it is a, it's a, a stage set. And beneath our feet are the layers of history. I think walking around, asking questions, looking at the names of, of buildings, thinking about how the streets have changed. Uh, use your commute, use your walks, uh, look at what the buildings you go to and wonder what was there in the past, how old are they, what's moved, what's changed. Uh, I think you can learn about the past through geography as well as through you know, history. Institutions are named in honour of somebody and we have to think about who it is and what types of people we want to honour. And I don't think we should honour people who are involved in arguably the greatest crime this country has ever committed in. So I'm, I'm, I, I commend the school for doing it, but I think as you've just said, doing it, making that change, breaking with that, uh, that habit of memorialisation of people who should not be memorialised, doesn't mean that this history should be forgotten. There's no either or, you know, I think they're all part of the same package.